Marks, despite, you know, being a single artist, she has a lot of features. Like, most of those number one hits, I mean, well, top ten hits on the Billboard charts were all basically features. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So now if you take all that away, she really don't have that much substance or anything to basically rap Who? about or sing about. Who? Oh, I disagree. I disagree. (laughs) And I also disagree. I also I also don't understand why you guys like to compare Nicki Minaj to Lizzo. It's the it's two totally different things. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to compare them because I'm just saying 10 years. Okay. Now, you know, Lizzo, to me, she's she's an awesome, awesome artist. I'm not going to lie. The first time I listened to Lizzo, I really thought it was Nicki at first. And I'm like, wait a minute, is this Missy? Well, I'm like, who the hell is up? So I, I want to say I must agree with you on that. Nicki Minaj and Lizzo are in two different categories, and I also believe Nicki Minaj and Cardi B are in two different categories. I cannot compare those two okay. at all. Even though they have, like, similar backgrounds to me, I think they're, they're um, character-wise and also how the way they portray themselves are completely two different people. Mm-hmm. Now, would I like to see those two actually come together and do a song? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. sure if they do that, or, or do a joint album or a joint tour, because I think that will break records. I because, think she should hey, take Lizzo on tour. Got... That's what I think she should do. I think she should take Lizzo on tour. Don't take Megan Thee Stallion on tour. Mm-hmm. To me, I feel like something no. about Megan Thee Stallion is an opportunist. Megan Thee Stallion ain't for like, but but not for nothing. Megan Thee Stallion. It's not about, you know, being friends in this business. Like I've told you guys before, it's about mm-hmm. getting where you need to get for yourself, which I've learned. However, um, you know, I if I were Nikki, I wouldn't take uh, Megan Thee Stallion on tour because here's the thing. Whether people try to downplay Nicki Minaj for, you know, not having number ones or her career, whatever, that Nicki Minaj stamp, that stamp of approval goes a long way. We Now we see Meg, uh, exactly. Megan Thee Stallion on on. on cover of paper magazine and she's you know going on tour with meek mill and this that and the third and just she's getting a lot more um publicity since Nicki minaj kind of set with her you get what i'm saying so if i was Nicki, i wouldn't go yeah. on tour with her or do anything else with megan Thee stallion because megan Thee stallion is one of those people that's gonna she's she'll do a song with cardi b tomorrow and then go sit with meek mill today and then act like girl it's nothing personal you know what I mean? So she doesn't have any loyalty. Enemy, but you know yeah. All that sort of yeah, so Megan Thee Stallion is not going to have any loyalty for Nikki. She's going to get what she can get and benefit and then do it to the next person, which she, which I understand. But if I'm Nikki, I also understand, girl, you're not getting anything else out of me. I, I agree with you. But if Nikki goes on tour, I just want her to go on tour with that another person that's, that, you know, that's upcoming that's going to be on her level. Right. Um, and don't do it by herself because no offense that that queen tour she had so many delays and there was so many you know it was i hear good reviews but i hear so many bad reviews about you know people are there they fill up the whole entire arena then next you know they got to cancel the show mm-hmm. you know so that's not fair for the fans at all so mm-hmm. the next time she goes on tour it has to be with somebody you know that's going to be up there that can also be that's going to create know, staying power that's not Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's not also going to sleep with the enemy. So that's all I have to say. I think Thank Lizzo so would be a great person to really go on tour with. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. And, and I, I think you had it. I think uh, Lizzo would be a great person for her to go on tour with. Um, I really want Rihanna to go ahead and drop. Really, I want I want it to be like a Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Coachella next year. If if I could have that, yeah. I would be like, oh, that's what I need in my life. But all right, now, thank you. After all these years, have those two ever did anything together? They've done records together, but they've never been on a tour together. I don't know. I don't know how that would okay. work. I mean, because if, if they did a tour together, no shade. It would almost have to be like they would be two headliners. So I don't know who will be fighting for the spot. Like, because yeah. I feel like Rihanna. I mean, just because Rihanna's been gone so long, like Rihanna would have to be like the like Longer. Nikki. Yeah, Nikki Flash. would have to go before Rihanna. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But so I don't know if that'll ever happen. Thank you. Uh huh. (laughs)